Penguin Random House Audio presents You Are a Badass Every Day. How to keep your motivation strong, your vibe high, and your quest for transformation unstoppable. This is the author, Jen Sincero. To you, O oh great and wondrous badass, thank you for being who you are. Introduction If you've ever read a book that felt like it was written just for you, or listened to a talk that blew your mind wide open, or hung out with brilliant, big-thinking, butt-kicking folk who made you feel like you could do anything, then you know how quickly you can get inspired to transform your reality, how effortlessly you can grasp the scope of your own mightiness, how easily you can become drunk with possibility. You also know you can slide down into inertia and doubt just as easily. Okay, more easily. Sometimes mere hours, minutes, after you walk out of the life-changing seminar, put down the book, kiss your butt-kicking friends goodbye, the blinders of your present reality can start to block out the greatness you glimpsed for yourself. Before you know it, all your familiar excuses have shuffled back in and resumed their perches, planting their heavy, defiant bodies squarely in the way of your hopes and dreams. Sometimes. But sometimes, you make the hell-bent-for-glory decision to keep that meteoric momentum going strong, and you do whatever it takes to change your life, making your old excuses feel suddenly awkward and embarrassed and desperate to find any reason to leave the room. The excellent thing about living as a human being on planet Earth is that you have the almighty power of choice, which means you get to choose between achieving success and giving up. And the excellent thing about success is that it always comes down to one simple thing, the decision to keep going until you've reached your goal. Anyone can get excited about a great idea, but to stick with it all the way through to fruition is a whole other banana. Success requires commitment, motivation, focus, a sense of purpose, and courage, and it requires that you continuously strengthen these muscles so you meet each new challenge with a big old can of get the fuck out of my way. Strengthening these muscles of badassery is where something I like to call the spiritual gym comes in. As we travel the winding road to greatness, We've got to have some sort of workout routine to keep our motivation strong, our belief in the near impossible unwavering, and our focus firm. Because muscles don't stay strong all by themselves. You don't get to go to the regular gym, for example, get in shape, and then act like, all righty, that was great. Thanks for the help with my awesome new bod. See ya. You have to keep working out on a regular basis and you have to keep pushing yourself past your comfort zone if you want to stay strong. Going to the spiritual gym involves any combination of the following. Studying self-help books, unearthing your limiting thoughts and beliefs, and doing the work to get over your blocks. Even if the work includes stuff like cooing, you amaze me, into the mirror each morning, or singing a love song to your shadow self. You must be willing to do whatever it takes, no matter how excruciating. Meditating. Listening to powerful speakers. Journaling. Making gratitude lists that leave you sobbingly aware of what a miracle your life is. Reading biographies of people who inspire the crap out of you. Exercising. Listening to music that makes you feel like an invincible pillar of joy, strength, and don't mind if I do. Saying affirmations over and over until they become your truth. Making a vision board and staring at it all of the time. In smartening yourself. Breathing slowly, intentionally, deeply sucking in the good, fully breathing out the bad. Stretching. Writing down your manifesto and visualizing yourself in your new life to the point where you can feel it, taste it, own it, get all choked up and grateful for it. 
Success isn't static. It's not one place. You don't arrive at success, crack open a beer, and call it a day. Success is a way of being and adapting and growing that gets easier the more you practice. If you want to be a successful person and stay a successful person, you're going to want to always have some sort of spiritual gym workout in place. And you're going to want to be especially diligent about your workout when you're cranking away towards achieving a specific goal. So, before you listen to the rest of this audiobook, put together some kind of spiritual gym routine. Get specific about which practices make you feel like you could bench press a gorilla and make them a non-negotiable part of every single solitary day with no exceptions. Which song or playlist will you listen to every day? Which book or books will you read every morning and for how long? Will you meditate? For how long and where? You are unauthorized to wing it each day. Get the specifics of your routine in place so you commit to it without a bunch of fumbling around and indecision and trying to remember where you left your yoga pants. I recommend keeping your workout short so you don't get overwhelmed, ideally 15 to 30 minutes per day, first thing in the morning. This audiobook is meant to be a supplement to your spiritual gym workout. It doesn't go deep into explaining how a lot of the concepts work, like my other badass books and most self-help books do, but it gives you simple prompts to think about and put into action immediately. Think of it as the booster shot for all the motivational medicine you're taking, or as your accountability partner, your personal trainer, your superhero pill, or as the keeper of the mighty flame roaring beneath your nether regions. This audiobook isn't meant to add to your workload, but rather to make the work easier and more focused by giving you quick perspective shifts, reminders, meditations, and loving motivational spankings. Listen to a page a day, or just listen at random when you need a boost and see what you get. I also suggest you use a journal with the audiobook so you have a place to do the exercises and keep track of any insights you have while listening. If a particular exercise or affirmation is really working for you, Keep doing it until you feel you need to move on to a new one and then consult a different page. Here's to living the life you desire and deserve every damn day. It always surprises me when people say, I'm not a very creative person. Because the thing is, if you're alive, you're creating. You're creating thoughts, friendships, new cells, hairdos, joys, problems, solutions, sentences, routes to work, truths to live by, perhaps the occasional avocado toast. You are an artist, and your masterpiece is your life. Your world is the canvas. Your desires and ideas are the sketches. Your thoughts, words, and attitudes are the paint. Your body is the brush. Your actions are the strokes. Your beliefs are the skills you use to apply the paint. Your faith and gratitude determine how extraordinary your work of art is. If your painting isn't turning out the way you'd like it to, investigate which part of the process you're struggling to master and then change your approach. Are you taking bold, brilliant action but constantly whining about how hard everything is? Are you focused on your desires but lugging around deep-seated fears that you can't have what you want? Each thought, feeling, and action is something you have the power to change. You are creating your reality. I repeat, you are creating your reality. How awesome is that? Use your imagination, follow what feels right, play, push yourself, let it rip, and get good at making new, exciting choices that bring as much beauty into the world as possible. Confidence is not something you need to acquire. It's already inside of you. It is you. You were born with all the confidence and self-esteem in the world. In the beginning, you accepted yourself fully. Thoughts of yourself stopped at, I am. I am. 